Welcome, everyone. Let's get ready for some NBA basketball. Well, Greg, both of these teams love to push the pace. Think we're in for a high-speed game? That's a safe assumption, yeah. I mean, but that'll also make this a serious test of stamina. It'll be hard for them to outrun each other all night long. Here are the five for the Raptors. Big men in the 4 form. It's Siakam and Pirtle. Emmanuel quickly out there with R.J. Barrett. And it's Barnes in at the small forward. Quickly kicks to Pirtle. It's Barrett on the wing. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And what a basket by Barrett. Looking unafraid to take on these difficult challenges down low. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And take a look at what he's been able to do at the free throw line. 82% more than acceptable. And good to get him going early. That, that shot should give him some confidence. When he's feeling good, he can help you stretch the defense a lot. LeBron against Siakam. Pass to Pirtle. The shot goes in. First shot, first basket. Improving as a passer, Siakam showing a willingness to get it to open teammates. Greg, looking at the history of the Lakers, they always feel they're a title contender. And they've been to the finals in every decade. Their longest championship drought in L.A., just 12 years. So, to me, the best franchise in NBA history. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Now, here's quickly. D right on him. Siakam misses. For the Lakers, they won their last contest that game against the Clippers. And that one was all about offensive execution. Running your plays, picking your spots. That was the key message going in. Be efficient. Everyone was on the same page, and you got a chance to see the results. Barrett, no good. Lakers have gotten their first three shots to go in for them to start off this game. And it's out of bounds. The Raptors will take it the other way. And former WNBA MVP Naka Agumake is here tonight. Yeah, and she won an MVP here in L.A. with the Sparks. An incredible role model, the president of the WNBA Players Association. She's very popular around these parts. Siakam. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's on LeBron James. You know what you love seeing from Pascal Siakam is his confidence continuing to grow. And Kevin, especially when it comes to scoring. Pascal understands how valuable he is to his team and how much they lean on him to step up on that end. Los Angeles making a switch here. Vanderbilt's checked in. If we look at the Raptors, Smitty, it has not been easy replicating the success they had back in 2019. Toronto's had a bit of a roller coaster ride since then. They've had some good seasons, but the consistency hasn't been there for them. Here's quickly following the basket by Anthony Davis. And now here's Davis, the fast break opportunity. A pull up. Rebound by the Raptors. After four straight makes, couldn't quite get that one to go down. Still a terrific start. And a wide open look for Siakam. Plenty of room to knock down the shot can beat you from mid-range as well. Siakam adding more nuances to his game every year. Prince, the pass to Vanderbilt. Kicks it out to Prince. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Toronto trailer. There's the pass to Quickly. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. Pass to Barrett. Out to the right wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Siakam. And finished off by Siakam. Big man playing big. Once Siakam gets it there, it's a done deal. The tray. Vanderbilt's shot is good. And they don't want to get in a habit of... quarter still but not who you want to leave over now here's quickly still yet to score 
Vanderbilt against Barrett to the inside. Here's Siakam. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. And so it's Prince with it. He brings it up for the Lakers. Pass to Reeves. Prince looking around. Here's Vanderbilt. That three off the mark. The Raptors have gone five of seven today so far. Nice shooting to get this game underway. Here's Siakam. They double team Siakam. Now, quickly. Nine points last game. Here's Pirtle. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Pass to Davis. One twenty-seven left in the first. He kicks it to Reddish. The pass to Prince. Let's the free fly. It's hauled in by the Raptors. And this is the first season matchup for them against the Lakers team. And both of these sides were fighting tooth and nail for a playoff spot and split their season series at one apiece. Now, here's Barrett. Turned in an outstanding game against Golden State. Asked it quickly for three. Sinks the three-pointer. We'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Both teams putting forth their best efforts right now. This is the kind of game fans pay to see. And when you're on offense, Steve, man, you have got to keep your eye out for Jared Vanderbilt on the other side because he will swoop in and get you. That's where he makes his money, Kevin. He's so good at reaching those long arms in and poking the ball away. You better be alert. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Hachimura is checked in for Prince. Christie comes in for Reddish. And D'Angelo Russell subbed in for Austin Reed. And here is Los Angeles now, following the miss by... Gary Trent Jr. from deep. Poor interior defense. If you play him soft, he's going to kill you. Now here's Schroeder. He's coming off a 13-point game against Golden State. And Davis sends it back. Vanderbilt kicks to Russell. Here's Davis, and that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two in the second effort. Tough to keep Anthony Davis off the glass. His length is definitely elite. Trent with the wide open look. And again, no good by Toronto. Here's Hachimura. Off target from three-point range. The scoring fast and furious as we end the first quarter. Lakers ahead, up by four. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? Aggressive at running guys to the backboard. You could tell it was part of their game plan coming in. And they have the guys to do it. Play to your strengths, and they can make up for some of your weaknesses. Setting the floor for the Raptors. Trent and Barnes share the wing. It's Boucher out there with Young, and it's Schroeder in at the point. So much versatility out of Boucher, showing the fast hands on that shot. To the wing right side. Here's Wood. Offline with the baseline jumper. He looked just a little out of rhythm. He's still trying to establish consistency from there. He was all alone on that one. Barnes has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Defensively, they just look out of sync. Not closing out on the threes in time. Eight playoff appearances, Steve, in the last ten years. This seems like a matter of time before the Raptors catch fire again. You know, Kevin, every team is one or two acquisitions away. They might just get one of these guys and spark a playoff run. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. This Lakers franchise, of course, has a lot of championships, but they know that nothing's given. Coach Darvin Ham said that that ring and them banners don't come if you ain't on your thing. You've got to be focused and make every day count. 
talking about championship, championship. At some point, the lip service gets old. You've got to go do it. Kevin, back to you. Got to go do it. He's all about action. David, thank you. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Now, here's quickly. Not a lot of room. It's deflected. And that's a welcome sign for sure. Hachimura demonstrating a willingness to want to improve as a defender. And stolen by Schroeder. And here's the fast break. Barrett leading the way. Rebounded by the Lakers. He is so good attacking the rim. It's rare to see him denied like that. Passes it to Wood. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. Wood's got four points now in the quarter. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. On the wing quickly. And the Raptors miss again. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Here's Hood Shafino. Quickly covering. A shot's good from LeBron. I like the play call. Get the ball to LeBron where he wants it. Here's Schroeder. And again, Toronto no luck. Can't fault the play call. Even though he couldn't convert, that's a good shot. Pass to Hood. Shafino. Picks it out to James. No good from outside. There was a mix-up defensively. Left him all alone. He just couldn't hit it. Los Angeles leading by four. Smitty will remember this date, February 8th, 2023. A very special night. LeBron passing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar on the all-time scoring list. Kevin, that record is a testament to LeBron's will. He takes incredible care of his body. At 20 years in, LeBron James still playing at a high level. Up top, Barrett. The end of the drought. He makes that one drop only a second five tries. More of a score first point guard for Schroeder doing a good job of finding the open band. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Make substitutions. And let's now take a look at some of the numbers for Pascal Siaka. And it's striking how much his three point shooting has improved this month. His long range percentage is coming up, and that's going to give them a lift as a team. You can never have enough reliable threats from beyond the arc. Prince kicks to Reddish. Back to Prince. Shot clock at five. Los Angeles with another miss. And it's Schroeder with the ball. He brings it up for Toronto. They trail by one. And Barrett gets it to go. I love seeing Barrett cash in there. He knows he has what it takes to finish through contact. To the left wing. Here's right. Los Angeles with another miss. Raptors have gone 5 of 11 from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. Down it goes, jamming that one home. There's a certain electricity to Schroeder's game, this time with a statement finish. Reeves the pass to Hachimura. Barrett brings the double team. To halt the run, Siakam pulls it in. Raptors leading by three. Dishes to Barrett. Kicks it to Schroeder. Raptors moving the ball around. Hurdle with a screen on Prince. Siakam passes to Pirtle. Sweet little floater. Pirtle's got his second bucket tonight. Pirtle is just a brick wall. Then you have to try and roll with him to the basket. Good luck. Here's Reeves. Nothing on the board. Prince outside. For Barrett. Prince can hit. Toronto's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. The 
15 footer again Toronto finding a little rhythm here that they have to like where they're at they're playing well they're building momentum this is how they can turn a small lead into a big one here's Reeves from outside off the mark all the energy is on the other side right now and every miss just makes it worse. You know what? This has always been a debate. Do you take the time out or do you let your guys try to fight through it? Schroeder outside. Here's quickly. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And we finished one half of basketball. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. 33. And you know for that matchup with the Suns, if you go by the rankings, the teams look even. But to be honest, I don't think that tells the whole story, Shaq. I mean... And moving forward, a lot to like about that first half for the Toronto Raptors. They're like a spoiled kid in the candy shop. Whatever. Thanks for spending half time. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. Nice game. Great performance by R.J. Barrett. Yeah, there is no stopping him, and you can't even contain him at this point. He is that talented. Yeah, and sometimes the strategy in that case, don't let anyone else beat you. You know he's going to get his, so try and keep it to that. Down to LeBron, it's LeBron and Davis. Then it's Reddish. And it's uh, Torian Prince, and it's Reeves in at the one spot. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Shoots the three, and again it's the Lakers from deep. In the second half of his career, James has been increasingly relied upon as a floor spacer. Steve, wouldn't you agree the Los Angeles Lakers are one of, if not the most storied franchise in the NBA? Yes, Kevin, the facts prove it. The number one and number two all-time league scores both captured the record as Lakers. That's history right there. You can run the offense through Siakam. That's part of what he brings to the table. Reeves the pass to Prince. Over to the left wing. The kick out to LeBron for the tie. Toronto grabs the miss. Siakam up top, covered by LeBron. Here's Barrett. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. Davis has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Pass to Reddish. Here's Prince. And he overshot that one, missing. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. And this rhythm, it's been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he could just see the ball go in through the net, and that helps. Reeves the pass to Reddish. Prince against Barnes. Prince outside. And there's the pass to Reeves. Toronto grabs the miss. Barnes has got four rebounds now tonight. Shot on the wing. Rebounded by the Lakers. Davis has got six rebounds now in the game. Passes it to Reeves. Lets it go from deep. Hands it from downtown. Reeves has got his first three points of the game. Their three-point percentage has taken a big leap here in this second half. to Barrett and it's quickly in the corner tried to come right back with the three of his own it's no good well so far this cold night from the field has not affected their ability to maintain this lead here's James James absorbing hits on the crowd and Greg, when things go crazy, coaches are often the first to go. But how often 
Does that improve things? Sometimes it goes the opposite direction, Kevin. But the simple fact is it's usually easier to change the coach than it is to turn over the roster. Hey, Steve, when we look at Scotty Barnes, what excites you about his play? I think for me, Kevin, it's just him improving. He can pretty much do everything well already. He's still got so much time to keep growing. D'Angelo Russell's checked in for Cameron Reddish. The Raptors also with a sub. Schroeder's checked in. Scotty Barnes is a guy you want on your team. Reason why, he works so hard every day. Kicks it out to Prince. Davis dishes to Russell. From deep, James. James connects from deep. LeBron is getting what he wants offensively, and the defense is searching for answers. So Siakam will bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. After this game, they can look forward to L.A. Where they'll match up against the Clippers. And that will be the fifth game of the six-game road trip. As we approach the fourth quarter, still anyone's ballgame. Yeah, neither team able to create much of a cushion. Kicks it out to Prince. Cracks in the tray. And the Lakers lead by two. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. up on the elbow the rebound by James Lakers have gone six of ten from the field in the third quarter outside Russell into the lane this one for three in it goes for the eighth time in ten tries yes he's been a one-man air raid coming at them time and time again yeah the defense has allowed him to get into a rhythm from there and he's been relentless and with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks very much. LeBron James still has a singular focus. He says, I'm a winner and I want to win. Competing for championships has been my goal since I entered the league. But you know how to get there. Playing basketball at this level, just to be playing basketball, is not my DNA anymore. Kevin, he certainly has that special sauce. He is letting it be known and championship medal to boot. David, thank you. for the Lakers. Vanderbilt comes in for Torian Prince. And Christian Woods subbed in for Austin Reed. Then for the Raptors, Chris Boucher is checked in for Burke. McDaniels comes in for Barnes. And Trent subbed in for Quickly. On deep print, the shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got three assists now in this one. For Los Angeles, they've gone seven of 11, a lucky field goal percentage here in the third. And here's James outside. Toronto grabs the miss. Siakam left side. And finished off by Siakam. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is. And he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Vanderbilt with it. Working on McDaniels. James in the post. Defended by Trent. James misses. Wood against Siakam. To the middle. Boucher in the post. Six to shoot. Siakam's shot is off. Missed opportunity wide open for mid-range. He would love to get that one back. 
doesn't register as a block, but he did everything he wrong defending that shot. You know what he did? He timed it well and did a good job of contesting without committing the foul. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for Los Angeles. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and, and what a beautiful feat. Fundamental basketball. Keep your eyes up. Keep the ball moving. You're going to keep the defense on his heels. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. On the court for Toronto to start the fourth. Schroeder and Trent are the guards. Young out there with Chris Boucher. And it's Barnes and at the small forward position. Trent passes to Young. Out to the wing. No one near Boucher as he lets it go. A miss that time would have put him up. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. Pass to Russell. Back to Wood. From deep. It's held in by Trent. It's so hard to keep the defense honest when you miss wide open looks like that. Barnes with it. He's picked up by James. Barnes can't get it to go. Russell kicks to James. Oh, good with the triple. And here's Young. He'll bring it up for Toronto. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. James against Trent. Here's Vanderbilt. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Looks smart when the shots are going down. Young, a screen on Vanderbilt. From the low block, shots good by Boucher. Boucher. And the Raptors lead by one. There's a certain resiliency to this team, and, and you're starting to see it. Well within striking range. Now is when you have to lock in at both ends. Out to Russell. Back to Vanderbilt. Outside, Russell. Right at the free throw line. And LeBron with the basket, the assist by Russell. James has got 16 points here in the second half. The Raptors have gone 2 of 4 from the field since we started the final quarter of play. And Trent now, top of the key. There's the triple. Rebounded by the Lakers. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Hachimura kicks to LeBron. Off target with his three. Toronto's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. It's stolen by Schroeder. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. James against Trent. Young plays it up off the glass. Young's got his first points of the game. And yeah, they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. All right, man. Get on your feet. Make some noise. It's T-shirt time. Some changes for the Lakers. Torian Prince, he's checked in for Hachimura. Davis comes in for Vanderbilt. And it's Austin Reeves in for Russell. A new group in now for the Raptors. Pirtle, he's checked in for Young. Pascal Siakam comes in for Chris Boucher. It's checked in for Gary Trent. And quickly in for Dennis Schroeder. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. He was able to listen in on Darvin Ham and his team. Now coach told his guys it's not over until it's over. He asked them to stay sharp out there and to keep fighting. If we lose this, it's on us, he said. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Right side, Davis. 
That shot, no good. Good D by Siakam. For three, Barrett. Lakers with the rebound. James has got five rebounds tonight. It's Davis on the wing. Back to Prince. Launches a three. Siakam pulls it in. Toronto, they've gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. It's Barrett on the wing. And again, Toronto, no luck. LA's gone a disappointing two or six on three point attempts here in the fourth. Reeves the pass to Wood. Over Barnes. LeBron shot is off. Toronto trailing. Siakam with it. Picked up by Davis. Good D by LeBron. And you have to like how they're moving the ball right now. Snappy passes to ready shooters. It's basketball 101. But boy, is it working. Wood finds Davis. Fader on the way. James, no good. Toronto's gone ice cold from three-point land. 0-4 since the start of the final quarter. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. And that'll be his third foul so far. Yeah, clearly he hadn't established new position there. And the Lakers making a change here. Reddish has checked in. Siaka passes to quickly. Trifecta! Big-time basket at a big-time moment. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. The pass to Reeves. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Siakam deciding where to go with it. The rebound by the Lakers. Absolutely critical chance right here. They need this one to go their way. Reddish kicks to LeBron. Outside Davis. Kicks it out to James. Drills the three-pointer. You know that he's always going to find a way to get the ball in tight situations like that and knock it down. Toronto calls timeout. They're behind by two. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth. Guys, what do you think? And they've got plenty of time to get a basket. And I'm curious to see, will they go for a two to tie or a three to win it all? Siakam against LeBron. 14 feet away. Count it! He has tied up this game. Oh, what a shot. Stepping up in a big way. Siakam proving he's got guts to deliver in the clutch. James in the post. Siakam's there. To win the game. Oh, no good there. The potential game winner off the mark. And regulation now complete. We These teams have battled tooth and nail for four quarters, and now we head to overtime. Should be a blast. In the block, it's LeBron and Davis. Then there's Prince. Then it's Reddish. And it's Reeves in at the point. Barnes can't get it to go. And it's Davis with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. James with it. He dishes it to Prince. Offline with his three. Barnes outside. Over Reddish. Reddish grabs the rebound. I like it. That's a great battle at the rim. He just couldn't finish. Reeves the pass to Reddish. Here's Reeves. Kicks it out to James from downtown. And he's good on the three ball. LeBron's got the first basket here in overtime for the Lakers. When you need a big score, you want LeBron to at least touch the ball, and this is why. Barnes with another miss. Lakers leading by three. Davis inside, defended by Purdy. And LeBron gets it to go with the assist by Davis. LeBron's got six in the quarter. 
Nice pass from A.D. Wanting to set up his open teammates. And the foul on Cam Reddish. That is his first foul of the game. For three, Siakam. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. LeBron's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Just over a minute and a half played here in overtime. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can count on him to continue missing. Passes it to Siakam. Now, quickly. Wide open. And the jumper is on the mark. You just love how reliable he is. Night in and night out, his offense is there. Prince right outside. Pass to Reeves. Back to Prince. The dish to LeBron. Davis, the pass to Reeves. Stolen by Quickly. Three on three. Here's Barrett. Almost, but it rolls out. So they foul intentionally. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. The basket here in this game may be all over. Yeah, but, but the main priority, Kevin, has to be taking care of the basketball and using the foul. Well, credit them for maintaining that aggression, even being up this much. They don't want to leave no chance for a comeback. Just focus on playing the right way. Nobody near Barnes. Good! And now they trail by just four. Scotty Barnes being big time in big time moments. Here's Reeves. And now they decide to foul intention. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. Austin Reeves. And he does get the second one. And that puts them up by five. They've got to take the first good shot they can find. And even if they make it, they need an immediate foul no matter who catches the ball. And the Raptors call time here. They're trailing by five. 27 seconds left in the first overtime. Action has been terrific. Barnes against Prince. Barnes passes to Burton. It's stolen by Davis, and so they choose to intentionally foul. No choice but to foul there, but, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. At the line for the Lakers. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a seven-point game. Productive trip to the line. Extended their lead. For three, Siakam. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. And guys, overtime not nearly as competitive as regulation. They've used up all their energy just getting it to overtime. Reddish. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. And so the Lakers take the win. They escape with a victory, although they need an extra period to get it done. Yeah, but what a great game. I mean, both teams, I felt like, gave it their all. But when it came to OT, it was just all about sheer determination on their part. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Here with Anthony Davis. AD, what sparked the run down the stretch? Defense. We gave him too many points in that first half. Thanks so much, David. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. So long, everyone.